So this is 629 and we're solving for the equivalent, the equivalent capacitance for both A and B here. So both A and B. And so I'm gonna move down B for right now and we're just gonna work on A. Let's move that down. Okay, so let's take a look here. And it looks like we can combine these because they're in series with each other. So let's work on combining those in series. So combining those, we have C times C divided by C plus C. So that looks like that comes out to be C squared over 2C, which then is just simply C divided by 2. Okay. And next, let's combine this result with this capacitor here. And those are in parallel with each other. So we just have C plus C divided by 2, which is going to equal 3C divided by 2. Then we can move on to combine this capacitor with this resultant capacitance. And those will be in series with each other. Those will be in series. So we get uh, 3C divided by 2 times C divided by 3 over 2C plus C. All right, so the top here is 3C squared divided by 2, and the bottom here, ooh, let's see, how do we do that? Okay, that is 5 divided by 2C, 5 divided by 2, and so I believe the 2's cancel, the 2's cancel here, and then we have one of the C's cancel here, so that looks like that turns out to be 3C divided by 5. Now let's redraw this circuit one more time so we don't mess anything up. We still have this capacitance, C, and then we, we have just made this capacitance here, which we found was 3C divided by 5. Now these are in parallel, so if we add those together, the equivalent capacitance is equal to C plus 3C over 5, which is equal to 8 over 5C. And that is the equivalent capacitance for part A of this problem. Now let's move to part B and let's move this here. We'll move part B. And uh, part B, let's see, where do we want to start? Where do we start with this? Part B. Okay, so I believe these, these are in parallel because they're connected here and here and that would be together. Those are parallel and these should be in parallel. So those being in parallel, so this comes out to be 2C up here and this is 2C down here. Both of these are in parallel. And let's redraw that circuit now. And if we redraw that circuit, we have 2C 
here, and then we have another 2C here. So these are in parallel, these are in parallel, and when we put them all together, we have our two, uh, these are in series with each other. So those being in series, we can find the equivalent capacitance is equal to 2C times 2C divided by 2C plus 2C. So that is 4C squared on top and 4C on the bottom. And we can cancel, cancel the 4s and one of the Cs here and we get the equivalent capacitance is just equal to C. And that is our solution for 629 part B, part B.